Hey everybody, this is my figure eight puffer Butterbean, and he's having his snails for dinner, and while we watch him, we're going to chat about something that's been puzzling me the last few days, so I thought I'd throw that out there and see what other people thought about this. Uh, to start with, I'm talking about aquarium salt versus marine salt versus sea salt. So I'll start by saying this is a brackish aquarium, and I've said many times over the years that to make brackish water, you have to use marine salts, not table salt or aquarium salt. And if you use aquarium salt, aquarium salt is nothing more than sodium chloride. Again, it's the, it's the exact same thing as what you would use as table salt. So I've always been under the impression that sea salt that you buy to cook with or to use at your table was the same thing. I just assumed that that was sodium chloride, whereas marine salts, you know, the, the Instant Ocean brand marine salts that I buy to make up the brackish water, or if you've got a marine aquarium, a saltwater reef aquarium, uh, Instant Ocean is a very common brand, but there's other brands out there of marine salts, and this is a salt that has... Uh, a wide variety of mineral salts in it. It's not just sodium chloride. So I always thought that when you got the table salt variety of sea salt, that you were getting sodium chloride that was simply extracted from seawater somehow. You know, I know they evaporate the seawater away to leave the salts behind, but I always wondered how they then further refined it to remove all of the other mineral salts to make it just simply sodium chloride that's come from the sea. And the other day I saw a video where somebody was showing how to make sea salts and they basically just evaporated seawater away and when they were left with the salts they were done. That was their sea salt. And I thought that it's, it, that can't be, that you know, that's basically marine salts. And I, I don't know, for those of you who have never been to the ocean before, if you ever go to the ocean, you're going to be very, very unpleasantly surprised when you get that first big splash in your mouth. Ocean water tastes nasty. It does not simply taste like salt water. So I always assumed that when you had marine salts, like my container of Instant Ocean in the other room, that that wouldn't just taste like table salt. I assumed that would taste like nasty ocean water. And so I've been experimenting. I, well, I obviously know what table salt tastes like already, but I looked at my canister of sea salt that I have upstairs, and indeed it says that it's basically just the leftover after they evaporate some Mediterranean seawater away, and there you go, there's some salt for you. And so I tasted it, and if I really, really, really concentrate on the flavor, I can say that it does taste a little different than just plain old table salt, but not very much. You know, if I wasn't really, really thinking about it, and in fact, the, the, the very fact that I was thinking about it so much might play a role in why I believed it tasted differently. If I did a blind taste test, would I even be able to tell the difference? And I'm honestly not so sure I would be able to. And yet, it is simply seawater that has been evaporated down and the salts have been left behind. So I thought, all right, well... Let's see what the Instant Ocean tastes like. And I don't recommend doing this. You're not even really supposed to get the stuff on your skin, let alone taste it. But I tasted a little tiny dab on the tip of my finger. And it tasted a little more like ocean water, but not too much. You know, I definitely think I would have been able to tell that that was the Instant Ocean rather than the sea salt. But from the gradient of table salt all the way up to my instant ocean, the flavor was really not that much different. So I'm beginning to wonder if all the nasty flavor that comes with ocean water isn't a combination between it's just very, very salty water and it's got, you know, whatever else that's going on in there, depending on where you are. I've never uh, really, well, I've been down into the crystal clear waters once, but East Coast United States isn't exactly known for, you know, crystal clear ocean waters. Uh, it's very cold water, lots of nutrients, and that's what gives it that sort of darker uh, color you get here on the East Coast. And so maybe that's where, um, you know, I'm tasting all of the, um, 
you know, plankton and all that stuff that's in there too. So again, I'm just, I'm a little confused about what the real difference between instant ocean versus table salt. It doesn't seem to be a whole lot. Now, when I looked it up, that was sort of confirmed for me. It says that sea salt, the kind you eat, you know, your, your table salt variety of sea salt will contain more than just sodium chloride. It does have uh, potassium and maybe little trace amounts of iron. It depends on where it was collected and what the actual chemistry of the seawater was where, um, you know, it was taken. So apparently sea salt that you have at your table does contain other uh, minerals and elements in it than simply sodium chloride. So I've not been able to find an actual ingredient list on my Instant Ocean. So I don't know what the actual amounts of any of these are. And if that's the case, and it depends on where you are in the world, where you collect your seawater, how does Instant Ocean just make some universal brand of seawater that supposedly replicates the water anywhere in the world? Because people use it in aquariums all over the world. I love these sail fins. They're so beautiful. So anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. I don't really have a lot on my plate uh, down here for the fish room tonight. And I did want to get a little bit of video of Butterbean swimming around uh, doing this thing. I know I just shot a tank cam video of him last night, but I do like to get a little bit of video, a little more active of him swimming around the tank rather than just eating snails directly in front of the camera. But I've been thinking about that all day, and I thought I would just throw that out there. I'd love to hear your opinion. Again, this is not supposed to be any kind of definitive video explaining any of this. It's more of an uh, inquisitive video, sort of asking what you think about uh, sea salt versus table salt versus marine salts. Again, I've always thought that there was a big difference between table salt and marine salt, and I always thought that sea salt was different than you know I just thought that was sodium chloride so that raises the question like if I ever ran out of my instant ocean could I just go take my you know kosher sea salt and dissolve it into the water and make that into my seawater my brackish water would that count would that be the same apparently you know it's just you know if you think about it it's basically nothing more than dehydrated ocean water if you just add water you're basically just rehydrating the ocean so that's an interesting uh, thought. I never really thought about the, the sea salt that we cook with as being actual dried up ocean water. You know, that, that's dehydrated ocean. And, you know, again, every time I've ever been to the ocean, I do not associate that taste with a good flavor that I would want to put on my food. It tastes nasty. So just a little uh, food for thought. Again, I'd be uh, interested to hear what your opinions, your thoughts, whatever, you know, do you have a marine aquarium? Have you ever done that in a pinch? Is that something you'd be willing to do in a pinch? If you really needed to do a water change and you didn't have salt, would you just grab some kosher sea salt? I don't know. Anyway, make sure you subscribe. You never know what you're going to get with me. And uh, again, don't forget to go down, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you got to say. And then don't forget, of course, this one here is my brackish tank. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.